Hi guys, welcome to The Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. The Savera is bringing to you a brand new fitness challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily yoga is a very special challenge because almost anyone can do it. You don't need any prior expertise or training. You don't need any fancy equipment and you can do it from the convenience of your home. So what are you waiting for? Excuses are not going to work. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to The Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. Fit with Jen brings to you a brand new fitness challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily Yoga is a very special challenge because almost everyone can do it. You don't need any prior expertise or training. You don't need any fancy equipment. And best of all, you can do it from the convenience of your home. All you need is a yoga mat and some time. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started with today's challenge. Today's challenge is all about your core work, but before we get started with that, we are going to warm up your whole body from the bottom to the top. So let's get started with our warm up. We're going to go ahead and stretch your legs straight out. We're going to breathe in and pull your toes in and we're going to breathe out and push your toes down. Breathe in, toes in, breathe out, toes down. helps to stretch your calf muscles and the back of your legs and thighs. Let's go for 10 repetitions for in and 10 for down. And change, stretching your fingers and relaxing. Stretch your fingers and relax. And from here, let's go ahead and start making circles, both the ankles in one direction. And change. and change. Now, from here, we're gonna go ahead and bend your left leg in. We're gonna stretch your right leg out, pulling your toes in. And the other hand goes all the way up, stretching your side. And get your hand behind your head. Push yourself down, stretching your sides and change. Let's repeat it on the other side. Pulling the left toe in, in, in. And the other hand all the way up until both the arms are parallel to the ground. And taking it behind your head, pushing yourself down further, increasing the stretch on your side. Let's stretch both your legs out in the front. Breathe in and hold. Staff pose. 
chest out back straight and as you breathe out you bend forward pulling both the toes in Slowly go ahead and open your legs nice and wide. Keep them as wide as you can. So we're going to tap your toes and tap the ground. Tap the toes and tap the ground. Lean forward as much as you can. Tap as far away from the body as possible. and change cross touch left reaches right right reaches left holding both your toes breathe out and push down Rock your body back and forth. Try to push your forehead down towards the ground. And let's bring both your feet together. Pull them in. And flutter your knees up and down like a butterfly. Let's do a few basic leg stretches. Top leg 90, back leg 90. And stretch on the side. From here, you will make the pigeon stretch. All the way back. And lean back. Holding the back leg, pulling the heel to touch the hip. Getting into the lunge position, bringing the forward leg with the foot between the hands, pushing your body weight down. And then both the elbows down on one side, back knee goes up, lizard position. Let's change, repeat all these stretches on the other side, starting with 90-90. Bend your top leg in, back leg straight back, pigeon pose, leaning back. Heel to the hip. Stretching the front of your thigh. Mm -hmm. 
lunge position, bringing the forward leg with the foot in between your hands, leaning forward, pushing your body weight down. And both elbows on one side, back knee goes up and lizard pose. change from here let's go on all fours continue our torso stretches cat and cow breathe in dipping your spine in into a cow breathe out curve your spine up into a cat breathe in breathe out Breathe in and out. And relax your spine. From this position, you're going to step forward, bring your chest down, stretch your spine and your back, extended puppy dog pose. Change, coming back, cross arm stretch. On the other side. Back onto your heels, forehead on the ground. And slowly get up. So guys, this was our complete body warm up from the bottom to the top. We will now come to the main focus for today, which is our core. Let's start with the first core exercise. It is called body rolls. Go ahead and start from the beginning of the mat. Hold your knees, roll your body back and get into the sitting position. And the last one and change moving on to the second exercise go ahead lie down in the back arms back lift up toe taps full-on sit-ups
hand change. Our third exercise for today is side to side heel taps. Lift your torso up, tap your heels side to side. Keep your shoulders off the mat. and change. Finally guys, the last movement for today is partial crunches. Hands behind the head and cross your ankles. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and out. and change. So guys, these were the four core exercises. We're gonna repeat all four of them, starting with body rolls. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some basic stretches, pulling both your knees in, stretching your lower back, pushing it down against the mat. Hold your toes, stretch your legs straight up, Happy baby pose. Both legs down, arms on the side, stretching your spine. One more time. Try to touch both your knees down on the ground, looking over the opposite side. And slowly relax into the Shavasana, completely letting go of all control on your body. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some basic stretches, pulling both your knees in, stretching your lower back, pushing it down against the mat. Hold your toes, stretch your legs straight up. Happy baby pose. Both legs down, arms on the side, stretching your spine. One more time. 
Try to touch both your knees down on the ground, looking over the opposite side. And slowly relax into the Shavasana, completely letting go of all control on your body. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some basic stretches, pulling both your knees in, stretching your lower back, pushing it down against the mat. Hold your toes, stretch your legs straight up. Happy baby pose. Both legs down, arms on the side, stretching your spine. One more time. Try to touch both your knees down on the ground, looking over the opposite side. And slowly relax into the Shavasana, completely letting go of all control on your body. To conclude the session, we will now chant the Mahamartanje Mantra as per our usual tradition. Go ahead and repeat the words after me. Om Triyambakam Yajamahe Sugandhin Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukmeva Bandhana Mrityur Mokshi Mamrata Rubbing your hands together, generating heat, placing them on your eyes, on your ears, and on your heart. This was the session for today, guys, and I'm hoping that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Stay consistent to see consistent results. Do follow us on all social media to stay updated with cutting edge fitness trends. That's it for today. Stay tuned. Until next time.